Alright, so you like the Moondrop party up, and you're looking to upgrade to like a Blessings 2, or more particularly a Blessings 2 Dusk, but you yeah, know they're kind of expensive, so you can't afford it. Well, what if I told you there is an in-between option called the Moondrop Kato? Let's talk about it. <laughs> now, as a disclaimer, this was sent out to me for review, but this won't affect my review in any way, shape, or form. Everything you're gonna hear here is gonna be my own personal opinion. Also, this is gonna be more of a gaming focus review, where I'll be touching on audio file aspects and explaining how that'll affect its performance in game. So, you know, that being said, let's get started. Alright, now starting with the box, we were met with a very familiar waifu who is from the Moondrop Variations, which could hint at the sound profile of these guys. But to find out, we have to open the box, which is actually really fancy on the inside, but anyway, inside we're gonna have the IEMs, of course, a cable, a box of different size ear tips, which include foam tips, as well as the fancy spin tips. You also get this nice little carrying case for everything, which I don't think is made of real leather, probably just made of pleather, but anyway, it has a little magnetic closure, and it should just carry all your stuff. Now, I almost forgot this, but you also get a bag which contains extra nozzles in case you need them. But aside from that, you're just gonna get a whole bunch of paperwork, as well as a lovely card dedicated to our wife. Now we take a closer look at the cable, it's one of those really fancy cables with those very nice thick durable builds with a nice twist braid. At one end we have a very nicely built metal 3.5mm jack, and at the split we also get a very nice metal splitter that has a barrel design, and this does have an equally nice metal chin slider, which both feels good and works well. And of course at the very ends you're gonna get two pin connectors with ear hooks. Now if we look at the IEMs themselves, they're very much a moon drop shape, and this build is very nice being all metal and very angular and geometric, which actually goes all the way around the sides as well as the inside of the IEM as well. The only downsides in a finish of the Kato's is that they're very much a fingerprint magnet. But anyway, you get to recess two pin connectors on top. And as for the nozzles, they are made of metal with metal grills in them. And as mentioned before, the nozzles are replaceable in case you need to for whatever reason. Just screw them on and you're basically good to go. Anyway, moving on, here's how the IEMs look on my head. They look quite fine. They're not too big or too small. They're really regular size IEMs with a feel that's very similar to the Moondrop Aria. Now, as far as fit and comfort is concerned, I'd say it's pretty good all around. It's once again very similar to the Moondrop Aria, so they should fit in most people's ears quite well. And with the right tips on, you can definitely wear them for very long hours on end. But of course, your mileage will vary depending on the size and shape of your ears. Now regarding the sound of the Moondrop Kato, it is actually very easily described as essentially the a direct in-between between the Moondrop Arias to the Moondrop Blessings to Dusk in particular. Not the regular like Blessings 2, but the Blessings 2 Dusk. But regarding like sound overall sound quality, it does come really close to the Blessings 2, or the Blessings 2 Dusk for that matter. Regardless, the sound of the Kato's is very much a uh, Moondrop flavor. So they're definitely gonna be floating around like the Harmon Cardon like sound and they're gonna essentially just kind of debate a few things to like Make the sound the way they want it to be the Kato's in particular are very similar to the Arias though I think um, overall they are more balanced than the Aria like the overall sound of the Kato's is essentially like kind of neutral Balance with a slight warmish hint like sprinkled in here and there and a slight it what feels like a slight Forward presence of the mids or perhaps that's just like how clear the mids are in terms of its clarity But yeah I'd say the overall sound is like neutral-ish leaning with like a sprinkle of warmth and brightness to the sound. Starting at the low end for the Kato's, I think they're overall just okay, like they're adequate enough. They're kind of similar to the Moondrop Arias with like a few differences here and there. So the reach of the Kato's in the sub, like, you know, into like the lower sub bass regions is pretty decent. I don't think it goes as low as the Arias, but it still gets deep enough where you get some of like the, of that, you know, that sub bass rumble, but it's not like the strongest rumble in the world. It is present, but it's definitely not in your face and tries to be like more neutrally tuned while still being present so that it doesn't feel anemic. The upper bass, I'd say there's a okay amount. It's got some punch to it. It's not a very strong punch, but it's like a it's it's essentially like a fair amount of punch you would expect a like audio file to be okay with. I don't think like a like a bass that would be very okay with it. The punch of the bass though, I do think is better than the Moondrop Arias in particular. And the overall bass does feel fuller than the Moondrop Arias. So you know overall I think it is an upgrade from the Arias in terms of like the base region aside from like the not as deep reach into the sub base regions but I think overall more people would enjoy the base out of like the Kato's now because of the way the base is tuned it doesn't bleed into the mids which really lets the mids shine as if they already aren't like on the Kato's the mids and the highs in particular both those parts are just really nice it's a very bright sound but not too bright where it hurts it's like very very clear it's very clean very detailed it is noticeably more detailed more like clear than the Moondrop Arias, which actually do a pretty good job, but um, it's just so significantly there that it's 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 good it's it's trust me the, the mids and the highs on these things are really good at times i felt like the mids were a bit forward but it could be just how much detail there is just being loaded into my ears that it just 
you know, brought my attention to it. Now, moving on to like, say, you know, the highs. The highs do play it safe. They have a lot of detail. There's a lot of clarity. You do get micro details in the highs as, you know, as well as in the mids. But um, I would say that they don't go like all the way to the tippy top, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So these things never get harsh. You don't get sibilance. So you overall get a very nice listening experience. So you get all these details. You get a teeny bit of warmth here so that it keeps it like not boring. So, you know, overall, this is a really nice sounding set and is like a direct upgrade from the Arios for sure. Like the overall quality of the sound and like how much informational sound you're getting from these guys is very noticeable. It's just so good and it's it's, it's a good step up from the Arias and does start to encroach on like the territory of like the Blessings 2 and the Blessings 2 Dusk. Though I do think the Kato's aren't quite as good as the Blessings 2 or the Blessings 2 Dusk in overall quality. You know, that's just, you know, it makes sense because they do cost more, but these come pretty damn close. Now, as far as the soundstage and imaging is concerned, the soundstage on the Kato's is larger than average. It's a pretty substantial like size for an IM, which is pretty good. And it is definitely actually larger than the Moondrop Aria. So once again, another upgrade. It just keeps getting better from here as an upgrade from the Arias. Granted, the price is, uh, you know, the price difference is quite stark as you can see here, but it does make sense. So the size of the stage is larger than usual. It's definitely more wide than it is deep, but there is a good amount of depth and width. And because of this, it's kind of like roundish. It's not like a super wide oval and it has a good like shape to the stage. And it the sound is well utilized in this stage. So then the imaging is also fairly precise. It's actually really good. In fact, you also get like more height and more vertical sense on the Kato's than you do on like the, um, the the Moondrop Arias. So, you know, once again, more upgrades from there. So, so far, this is pretty good, but like, these things do good in both fields. And it's almost as though, you know, cause like with the Arias, they're more like on the relaxed side, I'd say. And while this is still smooth, it is smooth and very detailed. So it's like someone took the Arias and if you're like a, you know, gamer with IMs, they were like, okay, I want the Arias in terms of like its sound, but I want it to be more geared towards competitive shooters. And that's kind of what this does. You get a lot of the details and clarity and this helps it excel in competitive shooter games due to like the precision of sound. You can pinpoint where enemies are a lot better on these guys than you can on the Arias. And with the mids and the highs, how detailed and clear they are, it's really easy to discern where your enemies could be and what they're moving on top of. So when it comes to like competitive games, these things do a pretty good job. Now, as for non-competitive games, like non-competitive shooters, more open world games, these things still do a pretty good job. I think they do better than the Blessings 2, but probably not as good as the Blessings 2 Dusk, which have more base than the Blessings 2. But regardless, for the Kato's in like less competitive, more open world situations, non-competitive kind of games, it does still a pretty okay job because you get a lot of those nice details in the environment. And just because of the size of the soundstage, you can enjoy the sheer size of the world. And since we get that like lower base, and like some of the mid bass there to give some punch and to give essentially you know, more body to the sound, I'd say you still get a fairly immersive experience. Whether the Kato's are better than the Arias for non-competitive situations is debatable because of how they handle sound in like um, the sound stage. But I think personally, the Kato's do a slightly better job just because the size of the stage is better and the punchiness and the body of the bass is better than the Arias. Though, um, when it comes to like, you know, the non-competitive games, they come very close and it really just comes down to taste at that point. But regardless, I I can definitely say that Moondrop really did it again when it comes to their IEMs for like their price brackets and whatnot. These are a really good all-arounder kind of IEM that does really great, particularly like in competitive shooters and does still pretty great in like non-competitive games though. It's clear to me that these things are better for competitive than non-competitive, like, you know, more casual kind of situations, but it can still be used for both. Like in terms of like its leaning meter, this is for someone who plays more like competitive games or, you know, casually or seriously depending and they also like to enjoy like non-competitive games. So like the ratio is you're more competitive than non-competitive. Whereas when it comes to like the Arias, the ratio is you play more non-competitively, more casually, and occasionally you play more seriously. So it's like, you know, a little bit different, but the ratio is like not like stark or anything. It's like, it's pretty close. And even then, if you don't do that way, the sound overall is just so good. I think you can enjoy it on anything. Though I should note that, you know, your taste in music and sound will vary. So those who shouldn't buy this, are those who really like bass. I think you guys would just find these to be just not enough bass. Like a normal person would be like, there's just enough bass when it comes
comes to like a audio file they're like this is a you know just a perfectly fine amount of bass but for someone who really likes bass it may come off as a little like light I would say so if you're super super into bass and you need bass in your life for your sound no matter what kind of gaming you do these might not be your choice for you but if you want to you know want to play to win uh, these things will do a pretty good job and you know if you want to play not to win you're just having a good time these things will still do a pretty good job so yeah as a filler between the Moondrop Arias to the Blessings 2 and Blessings 2 Dusk the, the, the Kato's are a pretty good choice but is it really worth like that price difference from like the Arias to like the um, you know the Kato's because that's a, it's a pretty stark price difference but for me personally I do think it's worth it just because of how much more like information I'm getting out of the sound it's just so good but like for a normal person maybe you won't notice this that much but for me personally I do think it's very much worth it is that a fly in my room god damn it anyway that's pretty much all I have for today so if you do want to buy the moon drop Kato's I will have a link down in the description it's an affiliate link to like a post audio I will get like a kickback if you do purchase that link to like help me run this channel essentially it's an affiliate link that's just that's how they work that's how I live that's how I run despite still having a day job but you know regardless if this video also did help you out leave your like subscribe for more content hit the notification bell if you want to know what I'm posting next and that's it for today guys yeah so far with moon drop so good see you guys next time